Namaste, I Sahil Virk. Welcome you to my YouTube channel, Strategic Finance with Sahil. Today, I will talk about a topic that affects everyone's life. I'm talking about AI or artificial intelligence and its impact on the economy, especially on the job market. In recent days, you have seen dreadful news headlines about layoffs by major tech companies across the globe. There is significant uncertainty in the market about the impact of this new revolutionary technology. I will start the discussion with the current impact of AI in the US IT sector. Then I will discuss the impact on the Indian IT sector. Lastly, I will discuss the government and what the government and individuals can do not only to mitigate the impact, but also thrive in the AI environment. So first, let's start by looking at the macro picture of the US job market. What we see in the graph is that the net job change in the US over the last 12, 12 months or one year. We see that most of the industries have added jobs over this period, but the IT sector has lost 3000 jobs over this period. Additionally, where the unemployment rate in the US is 4.1%, the unemployment rate for the IT sector is much higher at 6.1%. This number on the surface does not seem to be alarming, but if we dig deeper, we see that over the last one year, the profits, revenue and the stock value of the tech companies is going up. NASDAQ, which is an index of mostly tech companies in the US, is going up by more than 10% in the last one year. Generally, when an industry sector is doing well, it hires more people. Then what seems to be causing this distortion in the numbers? Diving deeper, let's look at some of the metrics from Google, Facebook and Microsoft, the largest tech companies in the world. I pulled the data from annual financial reports, that is the 10K reports of these tech companies. The first graph tells us the revenue per employee of these companies and we see that over the last six years that has significantly increased. This is also true with the profits per employee metric, which is also which has also increased by a lot. Taking Facebook's example, where the revenue has more than doubled, the profits have more than tripled. The number of employees have just increased by 65 percent. That means each employee is far more efficient for the company in producing more revenue and profits. These numbers can only be explained by AI. These companies are using AI to increase the efficiency of the employees. AI is not something that the companies are using in the future. It is the present. Over the last one year, these three companies have invested almost twice in property, plant and equipment what India has spent on its whole defense budget. These companies are investing in data centers, buildings, infrastructure, compute, and storage capacities. Now, moving from US to India, these trends in the US IT sector have also impacted the Indian IT sector. Thousands of Indian companies employ millions of Indians in the IT sector. Many working for clients in the US. These big IT companies hire Indian workers as contractors and when they get laid off, that does not show in the company's official statistics of employees. Many Indians are working in coding, data analytics, call centers, graphic designing, data entry, to name a few. A lot of these jobs are repetitive, low value, mundane jobs that do not require higher order analysis. These jobs move to India because of the cost benefits to the tech companies. India had lower labor cost, lower regulation, lower manufacturing, lower infrastructure building costs. Unlike many other countries that have these factors, India also has two key ingredients unique to it. One is a large English speaking workforce and second, a large educated engineering graduates. Now the dynamic has completely shifted. Currently, as per Satyar Nadella, the CEO of Microsoft, around 30% of the code is currently being written by AI. This number will significantly increase in the next two to three years. 
Mark Zuckerberg, the founder of Facebook, also agrees with this assessment that AI will replace a lot of these mundane, repetitive jobs. This will result in decrease of thousands of jobs in India. Now, US companies also hire IT professionals in India that do high complex problem coding, R&D, product management and finance job for these tech companies. But these are less number of jobs. But all is not doom and gloom. With the advent of new technology, there is always new businesses, new industries, new jobs that are being created. It is important to adapt, embrace these changes. So now let's talk about what needs to be done. First, the government will need to make policy changes and give incentive to the, to the IT sector in India so that companies can find new industries, new markets, whether in India or outside India. The government will need to make monetary uh, give monetary incentives to the startups and take out bureaucracy out of the way. So that sec the sector is not bogged down by regulation and paperwork and they can focus on innovation. Secondly, Indian companies will need to make significant investment in R&D so that they can move from just providing commodity like low-end IT services to high-end technical innovations. Every innovation does not require billion do billions of dollars. We've seen that with DeepSeek and other large Chinese large language models. These have been created with less money and are cut cutting-edge solutions that compete with chat GPT. Thirdly, education institutions will need to update their courses and syllabus by working with the industry. One solution is to have guest teachers who currently work in the industry and are leaders in AI. Teach one subject as guest teachers. This is something that I had in my MBA program in the US. Currently, in India, subjects are being taught by career teachers who have not worked in the industry or worked many decades ago. This results in outdated theoretical knowledge being taught to students. The solution to this is having guest teachers and having syllabus that is updated every semester. Lastly, individuals will also need to do their part. You know, as the fast changing industry landscape will result in changing and eliminating job profiles. Individuals will need to upskill themselves, constantly learn new skills, new things, use AI as much as they can, and use AI as a powerful assistant, and find new sectors and areas where they, contribute, where they can contribute meaningfully. It is important to understand that many countries like the US and China have a head start in the AI compared to India. It is important from geostrategic and national security standpoint to invest in AI as these countries that are left behind in the AI race will be left behind in defense and cutting edge technology. Their companies will be left behind and their economy will suffer as the businesses, their businesses will be taken by companies that have embraced AI. In the end, I'll say that Change is the only thing that remains constant. We've seen this in recent times too, when with the advent of internet in the 1990s led to new jobs, new opportunities, new businesses being created. It was internet revolution that created Facebook, Microsoft and Google. The AI revolution will also provide the same opportunity in our economy. It will provide the opportunity for India and young entrepreneurs to create their own world leader companies based out of India. So please like, share, subscribe this video and follow me on Facebook. Thank you and goodbye till my next video on strategic finance with Sahil.